Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to do this reading with you today. This is for Sagittarius if you have it in your chart anywhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I actually really recommend that you check out your other placements because that's really what makes it uniquely you when you combine those different placements of yours. Um, it's a collective reading, so there'll be messages that come up for you, there'll be messages that come up for other people, and connecting with your intuition is really important, okay? So I'm actually going to get started a little bit differently than I have in past videos for you Sagittarius in that I was thinking about what my main intention is with the readings and my main intention is to be a bridge to your own higher self, to the divine within you, just to really help you connect with that. So what I want to do is play the sound bowl and I want you to just let any energy that you're carrying just be released, feel it just go into the ground like the sound is cleansing you and release anything heavy, okay? Then I want you to just focus on your breathing and have a few minutes of quiet while I'm shuffling all the cards, I'm going to shuffle the cards for all the decks and pull all the cards to begin with because that gives you a few minutes of quiet, peaceful relaxation. I find that's the best space to be in to hear the readings, to connect with your own divine self. That's the best way I know how to do it. If you don't have time or you don't feel called to do that, you can always fast forward, but our lives are so busy. So if this video can be a chance for you to take a a few minutes to be in like a meditative kind of state where you cleanse your energy uh, that would make me really happy for you so um, you'll probably hear me shuffling but just focus on your breathing focus on relaxing focus on releasing everything that you are carrying okay I'm Wendy Irene founder of givelovecreatehappiness.com you can also find links to my work at wendyirene.com so if you feel called to I'd love for you to join me in my creative space Okay, let's get started. Close your eyes if you'd like and take a deep breath in. And the biggest exhale you've taken all day. Let your shoulders sink. Let the energy go into Mother Earth to be renewed. And just continue taking a few deep breaths here.
Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started. So first, the emphasis is really on the heart chakra. You opening up your heart, letting down any walls, understanding that the way to have great love is through opening up the heart. And also the heart is the heart chakra attracts a life that you love. So you focusing your energy on your heart chakra and allowing it to open, like imagine a flower um, blooming open as your heart in its own time, not being forced because if you were to force the flower, you would harm it, but like allowing your heart to bloom open here. Um, that's what the red rose card is meaning. So this is about you as you open your heart, really being met with the passion that you're seeking here. So focusing on your heart, put your energy in your heart space, put light in your heart space. Uh, you can envision a huge disc around your heart, feeling really healthy and vibrant. Um, you might want to envision the color green. The red is coming up in the card. But there's this, there's this really like, I feel like the letting down of walls around your heart. Like you're ready. You're ready to let down any walls that maybe were there to protect you. But it feels really good because it feels like you understand that that's the key to great love and that's the key to attracting a life that you love crystals comes up for me I, I don't you know I don't know what other readers say about crystals but for me crystals always mean beautifying your space making your space like your sanctuary crystals I when I see crystals like they can be beautiful they can have beautiful energy um, you know some people like to use them or you can decorate with them but one, there's this message of there's this beautiful energy that comes from the earth that is very beneficial um, and you noticing that. But also, I find that crystals for me often mean about making my space beautiful so that it feels good, so that you have this sanctuary, this warm, inviting, I'm seeing the fire of Sagittarius, this warm, inviting space um, that is your home that feels gorgeous to you. Okay, so next up we have, so that was this card, the crystals card. Next up we have golden opportunity and endings and beginnings. And the golden opportunity would be the beginning of something new here. There's a new opportunity coming in for you. For that to happen, obviously things from the past need to end. The old must be released. So, um, go ahead and release the old or release the past past way of doing things, past whatever it is for you. For some of you, it might be past job. It could be past relationship, past um, feelings that you were carrying that were holding you down. Like, like we said when we were doing the practice at the beginning, letting all of that weight from your shoulders go into the ground to be renewed and made into a new beginning, made into something new. So it is required that you let go of the old and release the old here. So that this golden opportunity for you, um, it's a very important opportunity. It's it's a new door. It's you walking through in through this new door, um, fresh and cleared because you've released the old. So that can go hand in hand with the heart chakra because you can uh, you can imagine whatever walls are around the heart as the old. And you dropping them and releasing them and letting them go and being beaming open, attracting a golden opportunity is something that is very much a, like an alignment for you, an amazing opportunity for you. You may not be expecting it. Some of you may already know what this is, but it could be coming in the near future here. Healing away addictions has to do also with clearing your energy. Um, so it's letting go of any behaviors that are blocking any of your heart's desires or you know any substances that are not making you, you want to feel like clear clean water right um as opposed to like a cloudy water so anything that you feel would make your water run um murky or muddy or cloudy that is happening, whether it's a behavior or a substance or a food or whatever it is, the goal is clear water, opening up your heart. You can ask, you know, ask God, ask the universe, ask the divine, your higher self for help. 
and clearing this. Um, I love that it's like, see the water pouring out here? I feel like it's like clear water pouring through you. You also have the power animal card. What animal comes to mind? Do you have a certain animal that you feel really connected with or really drawn to? Because that very much could be a spirit animal or a power animal for you, meaning that look up the meaning of it because you may be taking on the energy of this animal in a way that really helps you. For example, if you're, you're thinking of a lion, it could be giving you the strength to stand tall in your beliefs and um, not back down. It, it, there's, so what animal is it that you're drawn to? And then maybe look up the meaning of it because there's some energy from this animal that you're taking on that's a very helpful. And think of this animal like a guardian for you. That's helping you in, in any situation here. The next deck we have the Six of Michael, the Nine of Michael, and the Magician. Let's take a look at these together here. So, a message of the any worry that you've had is really actually quite unnecessary. Um, I feel like maybe you've been worrying unnecessarily and that message is coming through. So you can breathe a sigh of relief. Again, beginning of the video, the big exhale, let the shoulders drop, be relieved because it's unnecessary worry about something, okay? You may be traveling uh, or you may be relocating here with the Six of Michael. But there's, I want you to see it at like this beautiful light at the end of the tunnel. This beautiful light is this golden opportunity for you here. And, and don't, don't over worry about it, okay? Because you don't want to just focus your thoughts on like the outcome or the desire that you want. That's something that Abraham Hicks is always saying um, when I follow their messages. It's very much like focus on what it is you do want to create. Don't focus on the worry or what you don't want to happen as much as you can. So release any things from the past, any worry to release that, any guilt, release that. Or if you regret something, release it all. It's not in the now. You have a new beginning. You have a golden opportunity. You might be re relocating or traveling, but you're definitely moving to smoother water. So you can breathe a sigh of relief. You can feel that light. You are the magician here. Um, what you need is going to appear, okay? It is coming from within you at a soul level. I feel like there's a soul level of manifesting going on. So just know. And it may sound like really other, but just have this faith that what you need is going to appear for you, okay? Like as if by magic with a magician, it's going to, you kind of, you'll be in awe of it because it will, what you need will be there. And I feel, I feel like this feeling of excitement and this feeling of relief that has happened for you. So there is something really successful, this new opportunity that's coming in for you. And then this is clarified here with the Eight of Cups because the Eight of Cups is all about new beginning. Cups are about emotions. I feel like it's something really emotionally fulfilling for you. The Emperor, this is your energy Sagittarius that I'm feeling this time in this deck. This is you being the Emperor. This is you having strength. Um, you know, you might be taking on a boss role of some kind. Some of you might be taking on some kind of leadership boss role here. But whatever this is, it's very emotionally fulfilling here. You have the lover's card. So this can be about a soulmate relationship for some of you, love coming in for us. Some of you, it can be about a choice in love. And for others of you, because there's many of you that watch this video, there's some choice that is related to the heart in the sense that, because the heart chakra is coming up, um, it's something that would be very dear to your heart, feel very close to your heart here. You have two pages, and the immediate message I was getting when I saw these two pages is I feel like some of you may have been dealing with some, like maybe a person or a situation that felt immature to you, because um, the page doesn't have like the wisdom um, and the clarity of like the king and the queen's energy, the page feels young, it feels immature. I feel like maybe some of you have been dealing with a very immature energy. That's just the message I'm getting this time around. Um, but I feel like with whatever this golden opportunity is, I feel like uh, you will be getting some good news about finances in some way. Like for some of you, this will have to do with finances. It might be a new area, like you could be studying something new or it could be 
something that feels like, oh, this maybe this feels challenging because this is a new opportunity, but it's a really good thing. It's a really big blessing. There's success here. People know that you're dependable. People know that you're patient. Um, you're honest. You, you know, so... I feel like for some of you too with the pages, maybe you got a message at some point that felt hurtful, like it was like someone delivered something without tact, um, or you were just dealing with an immature energy. It could be maybe this was in love, maybe some of you were dealing with an immature energy in love. It doesn't have to be, it's just that the lover's card is here. But like emotionally fulfilling new beginning, you being this boss leadership, um, strong energy moving to like the light so go ahead breathe that sigh of relief know that your worry is unnecessary know that things are going to magically appear for you okay believe that because you have this golden opportunity here you're just your work is focusing on your heart so that you're drawing in a life that you love focusing on letting go and releasing of anything old Sagittarius okay I hope this reading gave you some help know that I am in your corner supporting you with my love and light and thank you for everything you guys do to help this channel grow by sharing by liking by leaving me comments by subscribing it all really means a lot to me and I really appreciate you have a beautiful November and I will see you again soon Sagittarius